Hey guys, this is Freelance Lifter here. What's your style? I beat him. Just want to take this uh, moment to just share a little bit of my journey. So let's begin with how uh, early on in my fitness journey, I was, I'll say, in my early 20s from. 20, let's say I think I was around like uh, 21 I think so yeah I, during that time I was all about just keeping fit and healthy and not about gaining muscle mass or muscle definition or anything like that I just wanted to be healthy and uh, this is an example of what I would look at look this is an example of what I would look like if I was just uh, being fit and feeling good, you know, just very mobile and very agile. But this is what I would look like. And you know, I, it feels good. It feels good to be, you know, kind of skinny and lean. And you know, not have to worry about much things like, you you know, I was having a good time. And this is during the point where I think I was doing I think pretty close to being a vegan. I stayed away from any protein products such as protein powder, uh, whey protein to be precise, or any animal product uh, protein powder. If I was taking it, it would just probably be from some plant sources like soy. And I was just doing a lot of just, you know, calisthenics workout, a lot of pull ups, a lot of body weight movements. A lot of running around and I enjoyed those things so yeah this this is what I looked like you know just skinny looking guy and just you know enjoying my time and then we move on to okay I think I want to put on some mass so this is an example of increasing my protein intake uh, now that it's not being a vegetarian or vegan anymore, I started using whey protein powder, eating uh, more meat, your general source of protein. And <clears throat> so I was kind of gaining some mass and looking, looking a little good, a little better. And then I uh, bulked up. Eventually, a couple years later, it's like I want to try bulking so I bulk up and then lean down to see what kind of mess I, I would have and this is an example of what I have and all these photos are from my wife uh, pulling it out of old uh, memories cards because I don't ever like to take pictures of myself pre YouTube way back and even now it's still difficult i don't really like to take pictures of myself and post them online or anything or even social media outlets i'm just doing this as you know i'm gonna yeah it's as a documentation for myself this is what i look like uh first time bulking up and then leaning out a little bit still have some good uh body fat but you know I like this. I like this look. You know, it's like you're you're happy. You're, it's a happy medium. You enjoy life. You look somewhat kind of big, and uh, you're still mobile and agile and very flexible. You know, that's what I wanted to be. And I think at at this point I was, I believe, 175 pounds. I believe. Yeah. So. I could get a little bit more shredded if I drop down to maybe 160, 155. But it's good to have a little body fat on and you know enjoy more foods. It's a happy medium, and enjoy uh, alcoholic drinks for uh, early 20s years. That club life type of stuff. Well, not for me. I was more into the bar hopping scene just hanging out with friends so yep 
these are just a generic uh, picture of what my journey is from just skinny and fit to a little bit muscular, still kind of skinny, but a little bit muscular and fit to almost to the point of being a little bearish, you know, a little body fat, and but you still have some abs to show and people can tell that, you know, you're lifting pretty good and eating somewhat pretty good. So that's what I wanted to share and we'll see in fall what I will look like. I might be really close to that last one. You know, with me step this this one. But hopefully I make some improvements. So you gotta keep working it. It's like like I said, it's a lifelong journey. And I find that very uh challenging and also very motivating I like that you know it's it motivates me to wake up every day and do something including that do something that includes you know being fit you know whether you're eating something so you always have to keep in mind you're eating for a purpose and that also at times you want to enjoy life too so somewhat be somewhat flexible I just like to look you know decent enjoy life and be fit the overall overall goal for me personally is to be healthy and then fit the number one is to be healthy and a lot of people fail to see that you know and that's the one thing that I like you know I would encourage the main goal is to be the healthiest you can be for yourself for your you know longevity and enjoying life all right today is thursday so it's the 13th and it's the 13th day of my series see you in fall so we're gonna check out my physique update it's not much to look at i think uh, <laughs> i already feel really flat i have still haven't eaten yet so and it's still and i didn't pump any kind of weights you know be all pump so I look pretty small and kind of flat. What we're looking at just because of documenting is my physique as of now for about almost two weeks. All right. So this neutral, no flexing of the abs. back view side view side view again I'm I don't know how to pose, I just do the generic stuff, you know, like this. Hopefully you can see it. Like this. Maybe some horseshoe eventually, like lose some body fat. Get some bicep bigger. Here's the back. Front. All 
right. So that is it. I will conclude that for today's video. And I will see you in fall.